Just when I think I can't receive anymore, that my mind has all the thoughts that it can hold, it's been stretched as far as it can go, that my heart has been stretched and is filled up so much, God surprises me and gives me more. And we know that's true because He's a good God, He's a faithful God, and He is a generous God. And this last session was amazing. It was just filled with richness and God's goodness and His words. And it has been an amazing experience to be a part of Arise. And we are so grateful to the team of artists and teachers that have made this such a unique experience. And our last video is just a few more moments with Francis Chan. You know, when I got off the stage, I thought, oh, there's one more thing I wanted to say. You know, we gave that illustration of e Elijah and asking you if your ministry looked more like the prophets of Baal where you're just screaming your head off, but it's all just fleshly, uh, whatever you call it, just nothing spiritual. Or do you look more like Elijah, the guy who just prayed and there was just this power and this fire that came down from heaven. And sometimes when I read the Bible, I can think, oh, man, if I could only be like that, like that, just like Elijah. But one of my favorite verses in the Bible actually is uh, in James chapter 5, verse 17, when it says, Elijah was a man just like us. And that is such a powerful verse to me. Elijah was a man just like us. In other words, Elijah has absolutely nothing on me. And to believe that with all my heart, that Moses, David, what do they really have on us? And if anything, some would argue that we have something on them because of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and what happened at Pentecost. But I love that verse, Elijah was a man just like us, because it brings these biblical characters that we sometimes lift up as these amazing prophets and saying, wait, they're no different. They're praying to the same God you pray to. And it says right afterwards, he prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it didn't rain on the land for three and a half years. It's just this whole thought of we got to stop living like there's these superstar Christians either on this earth or even in the past or even in this book that have access to something that you and I don't. I've got to believe the words of scripture and go, you know what, there's no one on this planet and there's no one who's walked this planet other than Jesus Christ himself who had access to God that I don't have. And even a great man like Elijah was just a man, just like us. And to go out and believe in that and pray like I believe that. And I hope, the way that, I hope that that's the way you've been living ever since the conference.